right, got the Castrum Swedish Forest Knife, number 10. There's a couple of people have asked me about using it. I've only ever done you a video of just showing it. Bloody nice knife. So I'll use it a bit. Now see if I can do a feather stick. After doing the other video, a couple of people have said try it a different way, and now I'm gonna try that. But I don't know if this knife is sharp enough, so I haven't sharpened it recently. Well, getting better curls on that one. Very nearly cut the back of my knuckle then. I want to be a bit careful there. Lucky I was going slow with this. I suppose it's a bit better than what I normally get them like. It might be better if I split this down the middle as well. But that's definitely better technique. We're resting it on something, going a bit slower. I'll try some other things with this knife. I'll use it to trim off a few of these branches. I think they're already dead, but I'll give it a go.
trim off a couple of these little branches. Do a little bit of chopping on that branch. Holding it low down the bottom. On that little bit there, I'm holding it there like that. Got the lanyard on as well, in case it does fly at my hand. So that's using the Castrum number 10 Swedish forest knife. Just do a couple of little things. It's got a fairly thick blade on that, full tang, handle's well designed I think, personally. Probably nothing I'd actually want to change with that. I've not actually tried it with a fire steel, hold on I'll give it a go. Right, when I say fire steel I mean ferro rod. I've not tried it with a ferro rod I don't think, this has not been touched or changed. Lovely. That'll do nothing to that. Back of that's perfect. A decent knife. Well thought out. So far as I know, that's why the handle bends over and has got that shape. For me, I want to hold it there if I'm chopping. And then doing the other kind of cutting. Hold it up here more. Anyway, like I said, a couple of people had asked, so there's that being used a little bit. Anyway, cheers for watching, I'll see you later.